Hi, I'm Oscar Warner. I'm president of Toby Technology. So talk a little about the evolution of eye tracking technology from your company perspective. So eye tracking technology, we've been at it for 14 years and we're the world's largest eye tracking company. We have done a number of different industries, been assistive technology and the research, uh, research applications. And today we're really excited because it's the, uh, now Steel Series, which is a customer of ours, are launching the world's first gaming eye tracker. So now we're going to see a, 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 we're very excited to see the evolution and, and eye tracking becoming large in gaming. What has happened over the years from a price standpoint that we're now able to see this in consumers' hands? So Toby has worked for the last uh, 13 years to bring prices down to, to consumer prices. And this is the first time uh, that a real true consumer, consumer eye tracker is being launched. And we have worked diligently very, very hard in order to bring the price points down uh, further and further and further. So today we're down at SteelSers is launching this at $199, including software for consumers. And it's available today. Talk a little about the actual eye tracking in this device and how it compares to things that you have done in the past. Yeah, so the application in, in the SteelSeries Sentry is basically, it's two things. One, it's for streaming. So basically, it's a way for streamers to give a richer experience to their audience. So basically, the streamers can make an overlay to their stream on Twitch, um, which basically shows where they're looking. And this is, if you think about it, where you look is a good approximation of what, what you think. So this gives the audience not only what you're doing, but it gives them what you're, what you're interested in, in in the game. And this is a very, very, very interesting piece of information, because you can suddenly almost get a sneak peek into the future of the game. So you can see, oh, they're looking at the enemy items of this, of this enemy, the next, the next action is probably an attack. So that is the first piece of streamers being able to express themselves in a richer way to their audience. Okay. And we have a couple of live streamers here today, they're streaming on Twitch, you can go onto Twitch and, and see it for yourself. The second thing with, it, with this Sentry device is it's a training device. So especially you can, just by having this stream or the gaze overlay and the gaze where you're looking on, on a, on a, on a on a, on a, in a game, you can learn a lot because you can see where did I look when I lost? Where did I look when I win? And you can compare that to the pros. But also in StarCraft and Dota 2, we have a specific game analyzer software, which is basically um, giving you statistics of where you look. So how many times have you looked at a minimap or how long time was it since you looked at a minimap? How long time was it since you looked at enemy items? How many fixations per minute do you actually have? So when you take the statistics and compare yourself to the pros, you can learn a whole lot about your gameplay and you can become better as a player. They think they can really learn from seeing their games play and, and becoming better players, not from a pros perspective. Non-pros, obviously, they've got a huge thing to learn from seeing what they're paying attention to when they win or when they lose. Given the fact that you can track eyes, in the future, would there be the ability to actually have games controlled in that way? Yeah, definitely. So Toby has worked with this first device with Sentry. It's just the tip of the iceberg. So and we're, the SteelSeries is doing it very, very targeted, and that's on purpose to kind of the, the, the streamers and, and the people who want to be better. The next wave is going to be applications who are integrating eye trackers to control the characters in different ways. Um, we have, Toby has shipped a couple of thousand dev kits, so we have a couple of thousand developers out there today. You can buy the dev kit for $95, and the difference there, there's no streaming software, so you can't do anything, it's only an SDK. But for developers, you can buy it for $95 from the Toby website, and then you can start developing applications today. Uh, there are a couple of applications out, um, and uh, if, the, the couple of things you can do, and it, the, the main thing, it, it really increases immersion. First thing is, uh, game characters today are one-dimensional. They can only interact with objects straight in front of you. So basically, you have one hand on the on the one hand on the on the on the mouse and the other hand on the keyboard. You control the direction with the mouse and the 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 the, the, um, the, the speed with the with the keyboard. But that makes you you can only interact with something that's straight in front of you. What we're doing now, we're suddenly introducing a second pointer. We're not taking anything away, we're just introducing an additional pointer. 
So what you can do now is you can run in one direction, you can pick up something in another. You can just look at something and you can look at to the side and you can throw it to the side. So your game characters suddenly become multi-dimensional. They can move in one direction and throw or pick up in another. And that's a very, very fundamental and very, very powerful feature. Second thing you can do is panning. So you can control the scene camera with your eyes. So of course, if you are in front of a computer and you look to the right, of course the scene camera should pan, because that is like turning your head. That makes you almost get an infinite screen. So you, the, your screen real estate gets infinite because you're just looking around, and if you look to the right, you get more screen rolling in from that side. And another thing you can do is eye contact. I look at you, something happens. You smile, you nod, you just nodded because I looked at it, and now you're smiling because I look at it. Game characters today, they're dead. They're not, you can't, they don't know that I'm looking at you. If you have two game characters in front of you, you look at one of them, that person doesn't react. But in the real world, eye contact is a, is a very fundamental human way of interacting. So, of course, if you want to build true immersion, you have to take eye contact into account. So I look at you, something should happen. I look at the guy over there, something should happen.